Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at adding an ESP8266 to a toy remote control car so you can control it over the Wi-Fi using your phone. This project is actually surprisingly straightforward so it's even a suitable project for beginners too. The first thing we'll need is a toy car to modify, I'll leave a link in the description to the one I got. Most cars should work though so it's probably worth checking do you have any lying around or maybe even try a second hand shop or goodwill. You do want to get a relatively big car because you want to be able to fit everything inside. This is a 1 is to 15 model and there's plenty of room. This remote control car is one of the ones that has a wired remote, which normally I'd be disgusted by, but it actually makes our job a little bit easier. You also need to make sure that the car supports a full range of movement. For the electronics part of the project we only need the following. We need an ESP8266 Node MCU board. These come in a couple of different sizes, so it's important to get the one that's the CP2102 version. You can tell these apart by the small little square beside the micro USB port versus the longer rectangle of the bigger board. Next we need a Node MCU motor shield. This is a really handy board because you can just drop the Node MCU into it and it exposes terminals for controlling two DC motors. Next we need a jumper block. You can get these from the back of old IDE hard drives or else you can just buy them either. And then finally, to power the project, I'm using a 6xAA battery case. This one actually has a switch, but it's not needed. This is actually a super cheap project too. The total cost of the electronics is only $8 delivered. When assembling the board, make sure you match the antenna on the Node MCU board with the one that's marked out on the motor shield. You then want to take your jumper block and connect these two pins beside the power button, VIN and VM. This board does support using two separate power supplies, one for the Node MCU board and one for the motors, but we want to use the same one for both and this connection bridges them. We now want to connect up the battery pack to the power terminals. Because the connections are bridged, we can connect to either VM or VIN with the positive wire and we can connect ground to either one of the ground pins. Now we want to wire it up to the car. I mentioned earlier that the wired remote was an advantage, that's because there's nothing in here but four wires going to the two different motors, and these are the wires that we want to connect with. A normal wireless RC car will more than likely have the same two motors that you'll need to connect with, but to make room for the ESP8266 you'll probably need to remove all the other circuitry. If you are using a wireless car you might have the option of reusing the battery slot that came with the car, so keep that in mind. Whichever way your car is, by the end of it you need to have a wire going to each pin of the DC motor, so you should have four wires in total. I recommend leaving these wires a little on the longer side because it's easier to work with later. You'll also need to strip these wires. You want to strip about 2 centimeters or so off all four of them. Next we want to place everything inside the car. I'm using Bluetack to hold the battery pack down and then the Node MCU board down to the battery pack. Next we want to connect the wires from the DC motors to the control terminals of the board. We want to connect the steering motor to the pins marked A and the drive motor to the pins marked B. It doesn't matter which ones you put into A plus or A minus, we can fix that in code later. Once you have all the wires connected up, that's actually the electronics portion of the project fully complete. If you're new to Arduinos or ESP8266s, there's some software that you'll need to set up on your PC before you can program to your board. I have a 5 minute video covering this topic that'll show you everything you need to set it up. When it comes time to installing the driver, make sure you install the CP2102 version. Once you've that installed and tested out, go to the GitHub page for the project and download the zip. I'll link to the GitHub page in the description below. Extract this file out and load it into the Arduino IDE. There's a few things that you can make changes to in the sketch if you'd like. Drive power controls the speed of the car. 1023 is the max so you can drop it down to lower than that if you want it slower. Drive direction controls which way the motor spins. Because we don't know which wire is which when we're hooking it up, it's possible we wired it up backwards. So for example when we press the forward button the car actually goes back. We could change the wiring to match this, but it's easier to just change that from a high to a low. Steering power and steer direction are pretty much exactly the same as the drive power and drive direction variables, except they control the steering motor. And finally, you want to update the SSID and password to match your Wi-Fi network. 
For more details on how the web page part works, check out this video that I'm linking to above. While the board is powered off, plug in your micro USB cable and upload the sketch to the board. After it's uploaded, open the serial monitor and wait for it to connect to the Wi-Fi. Take note of its IP address. You can then plug out the micro USB cable and turn the power button back on. Open up the IP address in either your phone or your PC's web browser. Test out all the buttons and make sure they're behaving correctly. If they're not, you can make changes to the drive direction or steer direction variables that we talked about earlier. And then you're ready to take it for a spin. For more detailed instructions on how to build this project, check out my instructables which I'll link to in the description below. And the final most important step is to find a couple of dogs that you can annoy with the car. Hopefully you found this video interesting and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot.